Okay. Welcome. I'm uh, very glad uh, to sit here together with uh, both of you. Um, well, we uh, take the occasion uh, for this conversation um, in the uh, performance that uh, you made, uh, uh, Fabian, and that people can see uh, tonight. And uh, your performance is a reconstruction of uh, some of the solos of Mary Wigman. And uh, Mary Wigman is uh, one of the most uh, uh, prominent people of uh, the expressionist, uh, the German expressionist dance, uh, which we also call uh, Ausdrucks-Tanz. Uh, and uh, I remember that, uh, uh, so you come from uh, Ecuador. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, uh, you studied in uh, parts in uh, Brussels. And uh, that you uh, started to work on the material of uh, Mary Wigman. And we were very astonished that somebody from Ecuador uh, was interested in that kind of material. And uh, you came to me to ask if you could meet my mother. Um, and yeah, due to uh, different uh, circumstances, did this uh, meeting didn't take place. So we are very happy now that uh, finally uh, you get together. Uh, Jean Brabans uh, is born in 1920, so she is now 90 years old. And uh, I think you were 16 when you entered the school of uh, Lea Dam. 14. 14. Uh, Lea Dam, who uh, was a, a dancer, choreographer, who had uh, taken some uh, courses uh, in Germany, um, uh, courses on this uh, Ausdruckstanz, which was uh, new in uh, Belgium at uh, that uh, moment. So it was a new uh, movement. And uh, you got acquainted with uh, the system of uh, the, these dances, when because there is a system down there. So uh, perhaps you could uh, first explain a little bit uh, what is the, the what was new and uh, how it is different when you compare it with uh, ballet, where there is also a system. Uh, but perhaps we can uh, start from uh, the nice little uh, skeleton that uh, you brought uh, with you, and which is called an icosaeder which means that there are 20, uh, 20 surfaces, uh, 20 uh, mm. triangle uh, surfaces, who together build uh, a sphere. Mm -hmm. Well, first, um, I would like uh, to ask you why <laughs> Dalcroze? Because uh, in Belgium, we have to start really from 1811. And if you uh, know your history, then you see that it was the Frenchman, Del Sarte, who was in fact the father of Rudolf Laban, the man who made that system. And then, then came, very later, because Del, Croze, Del Sarte is from 1811, Del Croze from 1865. Mm -hmm. And uh, but uh, Dal Croze starts from movement with expression. So it was parallel with, with what I studied, mm -hmm. movement. But if I do a movement, say something. If I do that, I can do that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, there, there is in each movement is there twice and that you could study with that. There is space, mm -hmm. and there's Ausdruck. Mm -hmm. And he studied there in that material that the, the ballet is just contrary from the modern ballet. That's, if you do ballet, everything comes from me to you because it comes from the kings. And the modern dance, it's just the contrary. Mm -hmm. They come from out, in. And he said, this 
is a light point, and this is a central point, mm -hmm. a dark po point. So both Del Sartre and Laban, they start from the same idea. Mm -hmm. And we may not dance from our parents, because, again, if you see the history, but not so many know that, the French had a great period between 1830 and 1850. That's the romantic period. And it's from that period that starts the dancing on points, because it's all lighter, 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 higher, higher, higher. So they went on point, and they find even a material, and you can buy it, and when you marry, then you, you wear it here, uh, tul. So the tul, the material tul, is uh, introduced for the romantic ballet. For the and then the tutu. Mm -hmm. The tutu was born, and also to make it very light. And But the expression was always princess, dying princesses, swans, mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and so, so more. And after that, the French made a very big dam, and just after the Second War, the Second War, from, let's say, from 1860, 70, until uh, 1950, uh, 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 let's say. And really nobody knows that, really. And everybody is always talking that we are doing classical ballet, but we don't do classical ballet. We don't. We do la belle danse, and la belle danse is already the basic from that classical ballet. But points, pour, mm -hmm. point, has nothing to do with classical, with la belle danse, with the base, and that's what we should introduce to everybody, it's wrong. We, the, uh, uh, somebody who was on the court of uh, Louis XIV, on the king, they were never surprised. But they did, in our mind, classical ballet. They did jeté, coupé, pas bourré, sisson, and, and so on. They did, they did that. But we did it already in the 16th century. Mm -hmm. So, this is in a mixed up. So that world was so decadent that our parents, they said, not at all. We want to like to go to Aida, to see the ballet, to see Prince Igor, to see uh, Madame Butterfly dying from, from, from love. And, but you may not dance at all, or it must be something serious. And then, so we went to a new, uh, developing method because all the people who are renewing the dance because the Eden dance, dance the, the dance of today of mm -hmm. parts mm -hmm. is really uh, the base uh, we, 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 we made that base mm -hmm. in, uh, so it's an, uh, a, an evolution uh, again and uh, we had to go to a school uh, who introduced the Ausdruck dance, mm -hmm. Le Lea Dan. I'm mm -hmm. going to cut you down for a, for a <laughs> second and just ask uh, Fabian, uh, I suppose you uh, first studied uh, classical or la belle danse, and uh, how did you uh, get acquainted with uh, uh, the, the, the expressionist uh, dance? Uh, mm -hmm. I think you told me that there was a, a festival yeah. in Ecuador and it yeah. was called the Mary Wickman uh, yeah. Festival, which is completely surprising. How, yeah. how did this uh, dance, let us say, invented in, uh, in Germany come to, uh, to Ecuador? Yeah, actually, that's the big question that I'm trying to think further about now. Because when I started the project of Wigman maybe three years ago, I had the hypothesis that modern dance in Quito had a strong relation with Ausdruck's dance. But it was somehow just like a thought I had. And then 
trying to think further if this was true or not. I remember that in Ecuador when I was um, maybe 12, 12 years old, that is in 94, there was a dance festival, an international dance festival that was called the Mary Vigman um, something. <laughs> and then, for example, I thought it was very curious that when they made a festival that was very important in the city that brought other dances from South America, that they called the, the dance festival under the, the aura of Mary Vigman. So then I talked to the people that, that organized this festival. They are somehow the, the first people to do modern dance in Quito in the middle of the 70s. And then they told me, yeah, uh, when we started dancing, we did have an education in ballet. Also in the 70s, dances started in Ecuador with a very um, basic uh, knowledge of, of ballet. But if there was dance, was ballet. And then they said, like, we felt that somehow ballet didn't express whatever we needed to express ourselves in our time. And um, then when they said, like, we want to make a new dance that somehow expresses um, our situation here and now, then he said, like, we sought a reference in uh, the pioneer, pioneers of modern dance elsewhere, and that is Graham, Limon, and Wigman. Mm -hmm. And then, for example, one of... Uh, the first modern dancers in Quito, Wilson Pico, he told me that he considers himself um, an unofficial heir of Mary Wigman. And then I asked him, how did you get to know about Wigman? I mean, what was your relation with Wigman? And the curious thing is that he never got any contact with Wigman or with any student of Wigman. But somehow he got some books of Wigman, he got uh, some pictures, and he got some videos. And with that material, uh, which somehow is documents, is not the transmission person to person. With that material, he, he somehow uh, found inspiration to create his own dances. So mm -hmm. it's a very, uh, I still don't understand quite well how this connection is, it uh, happened, there. Yeah. but somehow it is there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's something I should research more to see how it happened, but uh, somehow it's, it's very... F um, curious and mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. because I know that I mean there are many German expressionist dancers that went to South America but when they went to South America they went to countries like Chile, Argentina, Mexico mm -hmm. but nobody went to Ecuador so I know that later in the late 70s some people from Chile came to uh, Ecuador mm -hmm. but somehow no, the, Chile. Uh, the from Germans went to Chile, Chile. Yeah. in 1933 yeah, and then from Chile in the 70s, they came to Ecuador. So it yeah. took like 40 years for them to arrive to Ecuador. And that's somehow the only canal that I've been able to trace. And Wigman herself uh, did a tour in the United States in 1930. Yeah. So, and then their uh, school was founded in, uh, in New York, I think. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it could no, also... 1931. 1931, yeah. uh, so it could also be that uh, it drips from the north uh, <laughs> uh, to, the, to the south. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, it's really uh, still something we have to uh, investigate. But uh, I would like to, uh, to go a little deeper into uh, She was the very system. Well, well accepted uh, in, uh, in the United States, and it is because she got, she got uh, Wigman, she got three very uh, successful tournees that she asked on one of her pupils, Anaya Holm, to make a school yeah. in 1931. And uh, she did it too. But uh, Wigman, uh, Holm, she uh, had to change the name because Wigman was staying uh, under the regime of Hitler. And there is a book that talks about all the dancers mm -hmm. who had to, uh, worked in the service of Hitler. And so, in fact, uh, but that's something, it's so, so, there's so much to, to tell that we have to run. <laughs> so, um, so the, that, that school uh, disappeared. But it's very strange that you, uh, Schoes is going to Dalcroze to reconstruct mm -hmm. and to Wigman because, in fact, the Dalcroze system was made for teachers, for uh, 